In this video, you will learn everything that you need to know about Axie Infinity Origin in just five minutes. Axie Infinity Origin will launch on the 7th of April. This will be the third variation of Axie Infinity. First version was an auto battler, the second one is referred to as classic, and now Origin is coming into play. The new game will have a brand new adventure mode. The adventure mode will allow you to loot items that are needed to craft runes and charms, such as moon shards. Levels in the adventure mode will have stars. The more stars you have for beating the big levels, the better your rewards. There will also be an AFK rewards chest, so make sure you claim that. Crafting runes and charms will only require moon shards in the alpha state of the game, but in the official Axie Infinity origin you will need to mix moon shards with slp to create runes and charms a single axie can only wear one rune but it can wear six charms one charm per body part the charms that an axie can wear are determined by potential points the purer that axie is the higher the potential points you will have to make a choice whether you want a powerful charm or better card synergy. There are currently five neutral runes and four runes per class, for example, four plant runes, four bird runes, four aqua runes, etc. There are eight to nine charms that are specific to a class and 10 neutral charms. Neutral charms also need potential points. Axie Infinity Origin will have a new ranking system. Inside of Axie Origin, there will be three game modes, practice, ranked, and tournament, Practice will not have any ranking or leaderboard. The ranked system will have new ranks. Those are egg, chick, hare, boar, wolf, bear, tiger, dragon, and challenger. Each rank will have four tiers, whereas the challenger will have a sphere where players are stacked ranked like in the leaderboards that we have now. On top of leaderboard rewards, you will have first time rewards during the season. For example, the first time you reach a dragon rank, you will have a reward. Those rewards will not occur during off season. There will be four seasons per year, lasting two months with one month of season in between. A new energy system has been created where each NFT axis is worth three energy and each starter axis is worth half an energy. We currently don't know how many starter axes each player will get. You no longer need three NFT axes to start earning. If you have one one starter axie and two NFT axes, you will still earn SLP, but I expect it to be lower due to lower Ronin Spirit level. The Ronin Spirit has four levels, zero, one, two, and three. Each level dictates how much SLP you are making based on how many NFT axes you have. If you have a team made of three NFT axes, you are in the highest tier. Inside of the game, there are plenty of new status effects, and those include Bubble, Bubble Bomb, Cleanser, Damage Boost, Feather, Fury, Healing Boost, Leaf, Meditate, Rage, Shield Boost, Stealth, Bleed, Death Mark, Disarm, Down, out, fear, fragile, heal, blocks, hex, poison, silence, sleep, stone, vulnerable, weak, and taunt. Each status has a unique effect. You will no longer be able to keep cards for the next round. If you do not use your cards you have in your hand, they will go into the discard pile. Unless the card has a retained status, then you can keep it. Every round you have 3 energy and will draw 5 cards. Once your Axie dies, you will get revenge cards instead of the dead Axie cards until you cycle through the cards of the fallen Axie. There will be a coin flip at the start of the battle to dictate who goes first. If you go second, you will get an energy coin with retained status. Axie Origin is heavily inspired by Slay the Spire mechanics. There are secret cards in the game that get triggered when someone attacks into you. Ariko has the ability to skip secret cards. Kestrel is pretty much the new Gravelant as it disables your opponent's cards. You will not be able to earn any SLP during the alpha testing of Axie Origin. Axie Origin will initially launch on PC only. Stats in Origin will not matter at all. It is all about potential points, runes and charms. There are some eyes and ear combo cards that are very rare as people did not focus on breeding classes such as bug or beast or even plants. All that mattered was speed, therefore aqua and bird eyes and ears are amongst the most popular. Most of the zero cost cards are in the eyes and ears with the exception of Nemo and Cottontail and only 79 bug axes have the double leaf bug combo. And that's it for this video. If you guys are excited for Axie Infinity Origin, let me know in the comment section down below. Write down what your favorite rune and charm is. What do you think is going to be OP as well as what needs to be buffed when it comes to Origin. Also, let me know of any teams that you have been theory crafting. I have a couple of insane teams that I think will work very well in origin but we'll find it more about that if you enjoyed this video make sure you give it a thumbs up subscribe to my youtube channel for daily playthrough and content and i will see you in the next one